Today I'm going to present to you 7 plugins that are must have for the year 2023. I'll also give you alternatives because sometimes it's not just about a particular plugin but about a type of a plugin. These are the plugins that are used in almost all projects and I can't imagine producing without them in the year 2023. Number 1 Infiltrator. Infiltrator has to be the best multi effect plugin that exists on the market right now. It's essentially an effect rack packed with 54 different effects that you can combine together creating complex processing chains that will beef up your sound. Each of the effects can be modulated using an LFO and a sequencer feature allows you to enable or disable certain effects at a specific time, all synced to your BPM. This gives you an enormous power for creating complex and unique sounds. Definitely a game changing aspect of this is idea generation and usability. This plugin is packed with so many effects that it could be your go to place for processing any sound. And the amount of different combinations really helps for making cool sounds. Its creative applications come from this shuffle button that the moment you press it will give you a random preset. This allows you to keep switching presets until you stumble upon something that you like. Infiltrator will give you unexpected ideas that you wouldn't normally come up with and that unpredictability is what makes it a great idea generator. I love to shift the presets and resample cool sounds that come out of it, then I use these sounds in a song or export them into my sound design folder. This really is like a sound generator. Our stunning sounds are very often too dry and boring, so by adding processing to them, you can turn them into professional and more complex ones. Infiltrator definitely helps with getting a unique processing because of its unpredictability with presets, and it has a lot of them. Infiltrator could replace any other standalone effect that you could purchase separately. Number 2 Serum Every producer at this point probably knows about Serum. This is an iconic scent that most of us already have. Even though it is not the newest one and it truly is lacking some functionality, it is still one of the most powerful and useful scents out there. Serum is one of the scents that you just can't can't stop loving to use. For sure what makes Serum stand out is it's easy to use interface, it's simple, things are easy to access, it's just very convenient and pleasant to work with. Its sound design capabilities are also very high despite its limited functionality. Serum comes with only two oscillators, plus sub oscillator, plus noise, one filter, only 10 effects, four envelopes, and eight LFOs. This for a very complex sound design isn't going to be enough, that's why as an alternative I recommend Face Plant. Its interface isn't as pleasant to use, there's more struggle with designing modulations, but it has infinite possibilities when it comes to processing and layering. You can even make a song in it. You can add as many effects, oscillators, envelopes, LFOs and any other types of modulations as you want. But if pricing is of your concern, then you may consider downloading a free vital synth. This is just like Serum but with different look and some additional functionality completely for free. Number 3. V-Clip V-Clip is a clipper that cuts stops of the waveform of your sound limiting and saturating. This is great if you have a lot of uncontrolled volume spikes in your sounds and you want to get rid of them, also at the same time making the sound saucier. V-Clip will do exactly that, it will cut whatever tries to go through the threshold line and will saturate it. This plugin is also great for sound designing drums and other sounds like basses and making them nicely warm and crunchy. What differentiates this plugin is the amount of different clipping algorithms that will give you different sounds, easy to use interface and some additional options like DC offset.
Simply speaking, having loud volume spikes playing at the same time in your song will make them add up. This can lead to very loud volume bumps that will clip your master and sound very unpleasant. Better to keep it under control. You can use a limiter, but a limiter won't give you that nice saturation. If you don't want to pay though, there's a free alternative called Free Clip. This is essentially the same thing, but only includes one type of a clipper called a soft clipper. This will give you a nice warm sound still, and for simple clipping, it will be enough. Number 4. Omnisphere Arturia Native Instruments Here I have a few recommendations for one category, which is instrument libraries. They are simply plugins that let you open lots of different playable instruments for you to write music in them. They could be real life instruments, but also synths. Why is it important to have instrument libraries? They give you instant access to great sounding instruments without a need to sound design them by yourself. Sure, it's great to record or sound design your own sounds, but sometimes it's really unnecessary. You don't need to record strings players and most likely you don't even have access to do so. Instrument libraries will give you a ton of ready-made sounds so that you can find what you like and simply start creating without having to spend countless hours on sound designing. Having a broad set of sounds will allow you to have access to the sounds you need in the moment. You need violin, you got it. You need cinematic drones. Brass. Asian instruments. all at your fingertips, just pick and play. But which one to pick? It really depends on what you need. Omnisphere has a lot of sounds from many categories, orchestral instruments, pianos, bells, choir, synths and more. You could find here most of what you need in my opinion. It's a great bundle filled with a little bit of everything. Arturia on the other hand is more based on synths. Those are digital emulations of analog gear. It does sound really professional. They do have strings and vocals, but those are hybridized with synths and may not be what you're looking for if you're looking for real sounding orchestral sounds. I really love native instruments, especially the ultimate bundle as it gives you so many sounds and it does cover most of your needs. It has synths like Massive X. Pianos like Piano Colors. Cinematic atmospheres like Arcus. Drums. And orchestral sounds are just too good. If you have 1200 bucks to spend on sounds, then for sure go with Complete 14 Ultimate. You will be satisfied with it. If you have less to spend, then Omnisphere for 500 bucks is going to be great. And if you're looking for mostly synths, then go with Arturia V Collection 9 for 600 bucks. And if you're really rich, then go with all of them. The more sounds, the more possibilities. My personal favorite is Complete 14 Ultimate, as it's packed with so much content. It's all in one, really. Number 5, XO. XO is a drum rack, but it isn't just a regular boring drum rack. It is a smart one. It sorts your sounds and groups them in a map based on similarity so you can easily replace sounds for similar ones to find a perfect combination for a section you are making.
access to the sounds is super easy because you don't have to browse folders anymore. You have all your sounds here on this map. What's game changing about this is that you can replace your whole drum kit with similar sounds with just a click of a button. or single drums by either clicking on these dots or with an arrow too. This is going to give you a sound variation that could potentially sound better in your song, so looking for that perfect drum sound is now much, much easier. What I really like doing with it is making fills. You can create a sequence of sounds, filter, and then click this arrow. This is gonna pick the sounds only from the filtered ones, so you can replace all the sounds into perks, into toms or snares, anything you want. And this gives you such huge possibilities of making a lot of interesting sounds, a lot of interesting fills that you wouldn't normally come up with. Number six, FabFilter Pro Q3. Pro Q3 is, in my opinion, the best equalizer out there. And why would you get one if you can use the one built into your DAW? Simply because of how precise it is in terms of frequency control, but also how frequencies are represented visually. Besides the precision, you can also do dynamic cuts or boosts. Do mid side EQing. View what frequencies are overlapping in two or more instruments. Do frequency side training. And the interface is just so beautiful. Why would you use such detailed EQ though? EQ may seem like a simple effect, in fact it is a very simple effect, but it's also extremely powerful. EQ can change your sounds in very dramatic ways from muddy, resonating and unpleasant to polished, clean and professional sounding ones. EQ is great for making space in the mix and giving your sounds a proper tone. Number 7. Sooth. I always like to recommend this plugin because there's no other one like this on the market. Sooth is a resonance suppressor, it detects loud resonances and reduces their volume giving you smooth and pleasant sounds. It does change the game when you really have harsh sounds that you can't simply control with an EQ. EQ could potentially work, but it's not gonna give you the same smooth result and it's really time consuming. Sooth detects resonances automatically and tames them and all you have to do is to decide how intense the taming should be and how narrow. You can also limit to what frequencies you want suit to be applied. It does have a unique sound to it too. At higher values it does go into the direction of a pleasant white noise, but make sure to not use too big of an amount as it will make your sound lose personality.
So that's it for this video. Let me know what are your top plugins for 2023 in the comments. If you're looking for quality sounds for 2023, as I highly believe that you should equip yourself with high quality sounds for 2023, check out over sample.us. There's a huge library of sample and also preset packs from EDM ones like color bass, future bass, house, to even lo-fi. There's a free content too. Okay, wish you a happy new year and successful song making. Bye. No way, hold on a second. Making this video wasn't necessarily the easiest job, so here are some bloopers. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is a radio presenter and today, and today I'm going to present to you, and today I'm going to present, today, today, and today, but about of a type of plugin, but about, but about a type of plugin. <laughs> Here I have a few recommendations for one category, which is instrument libraries. I always like to, I always, I always, I always, today I'm going to present to you seven plugins that are must have for the year 2020. It's what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Fuck! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, an American presentator continues to talk to you. <laughs> today I'm going to present to you seven plugins that are must have for the intro. <laughs> what? Speak like with a, like a clean voice, and the only way you can speak with a clean voice is by using an American persona or character. So imagine that you're American and that's gonna unlock you many different ways of speaking. Can I have a large coffee please? With a McDonald's big meal kind of deal. See this? Like that's American and it sounds very clean. So you start saying shit in American and it, it goes like this. Today I'm going to present to you seven- Today I'm going to present to you seven different- <sighs> It doesn't go well.